Uh, just uh, this is the first opportunity that I've had an opp or first time that I've had an opportunity to to speak publicly. Just recognizing what happened in Nashville, and uh, you know, from our program myself, just uh, our prayers, thoughts are are with uh, the entire. Uh, community in Nashville, uh, certainly with uh, the teachers, administrators, students, everybody that, uh, you know, was there at Covenant School and, and um, uh, hard to put in words as a, as a parent, um, you know, two of my own, um, how that happens in, in the tragedy, um, just uh, our hearts and our hurt and uh, our thoughts and prayers are with the entire community. Josh, as a, as a head coach, talk about the, the pride you feel watching your guys go through this process? Yeah, <clears throat> you know, when they finish their last game and uh, they embark on this process, a lot of nervous energy, a lot of decisions that have to be made uh, for them. There's so many situations that they get thrust into for the first time. Uh, it can be the combine, it can be interviews at the combine, it can be uh, the pro day to here, which uh, ends the physical part of, of the process for them. Really proud of this group of guys, uh, how they've handled the entire process, just the feedback that I've gotten today, um, the feedback that I've gotten uh, after the, the combine and after uh, you know some of the postseason bowl games. Uh, I thought physically our guys did a great job preparing themselves. Testing numbers between the combine and today have been fantastic. I think that speaks to who these guys are, some of the development that we have inside of our program. Uh, Coach Schmidt, our, our strength and conditioning leader, and, and uh, proud of what they did. And then the individual drills thought they handled themselves in a really good way. And, and uh, you know, guys catching the football, um, you know, our defensive guys and their movement patterns, uh, breaking on the football, and, and uh, offensive line guys did a great job too. So uh, really proud of what they, they showed today. Josh, what was Hinden's responsibilities at the line of scrimmage, and how quickly did he process information? Yeah, I'm not sure anybody in college football has more on, on their plate than Hendon does, and then you throw in the, um, you know, the tempo that we play at. You got to be a quick decision maker. You got to recognize the defensive structure extremely quickly. Uh, he controls uh, some of our run game. Uh, he controls, uh, you know, the RPO game, making a decision on every snap. Um, he's got loaded box checks. He's got alerts. He's got kills. Um, he controlled the entire game on every single play, and I think that puts him in a great position to be able to transition to the next level, handle all that's coming at him, and uh, be able to handle it at a really high level. Josh, from, a, from a leadership standpoint, <clears throat> with Hendon, like what, what maybe stood out the most in how he carried himself? Yeah, I've never been around anybody that's been a, a stronger or more impactful leader than, than Hendon Hooker is. Our program is not where it's at today unless uh, Hendon is a, a part of our locker room. Um, he's smart, he cares, he loves his teammates. You feel his energy every single day when he walks into the building, out onto the practice field, and um, he's a fierce competitor, somebody that uh, our guys fed off of. And that's when things were going great and when things maybe weren't going great and uh, been dynamic for us. And he'll be the same guy that's true to his character, true to who he is. That's the, the same guy that some NFL franchise is going to get. Josh, how important or impactful could it be in recruiting if you guys are able to not only start getting guys to the NFL, having them be prepared, but then having guys go high in the draft regularly like you have a chance to do this year. Yeah, we will. Um, you know, we've got really good players uh, that are here currently. Uh, they're getting developed at an elite level uh, in our offseason program. And structurally, what we do schematically, offense, defense, special teams, it's putting those guys in a position to showcase their physical attributes, but also stress them and grow them in their understanding of, of concepts. And that will all transition to the next level. Um, this group of guys, we're going to have a lot of high draft picks that come out of it. Uh, the way that we're recruiting, uh, the guys that we're bringing in, the development that we have here, uh, we'll continue to have that. One of the, one of the guys have been praised for this big draft process about their intelligence and their classroom. Just for you as a coach, how much pride do you have in the fact that they have as much intelligence and understanding of the game as they do physical ability? Yeah, well, I think it's important. If you're going to play at a high level, you know, physical talent's one thing, uh, but you got to be developed fundamentally, and then you got to understand uh, the game and uh, you know what you're doing, uh, why you're doing it, and how that's impacted by what you're seeing on the other side of the football. And uh, you know, growing these guys and their football IQ is something that we spend a ton of time on in our off season and spring ball and during the course of uh, training camp and the lead up to uh, to kickoff. Uh, the reason, reason we've grown a, a, as a program, our players got great trust in who's in the building, 
the culture that we've built and they understand that we're helping them grow to become their best and achieve their goals and dreams. Josh, with, with the wide splits that you guys run in, in your offense, some analysts have said, well, you know, that's much different than what the NFL does. What, what should be players or anyone's response to that translating to the NFL? Level? I'm getting a lot of questions about uh, scheme and, and uh, guys that want to incorporate a lot of what we're doing. So um, I think it will transition just fine. Um, you, know, you look at the, the NFL, um, college football, how it's impacted the way that that game is being played now. Um, you know, a lot of what uh, is happening on this level is transitioning upward, not necessarily just downward. With, with Byron Last specifically, he, he ran the 4-4-3 at the combine. Was yeah. that a surprise to you guys that he was that fast? I mean, you guys knew he was physically, physically gifted, but to, to run that. Yeah, we did know he was physically gifted. Yeah, we, we've seen okay. that. Uh, whether it was going to be 4-4-3 or 4-4-5, I wasn't sure, um, but uh, really excited. Uh, what he's done, um, you know, how he's ran, how he's jumped. But you, you look at his individual uh, drills today, he's uh, continuing to put himself um, where he's maximizing his value. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Thanks guys.